This is the Vision Cine 12 millimeter from Seven Artisans. I'm at open gate F-Log2 on the Fujifilm X-H2S. And uh, yeah, the light's looking really nice. Yeah. I love the ultra wide look. Standard wise are okay, but like something that's just feels different, feels a lot different, much wider. You can, you know, look past your peripheral vision. That's what basically what ultra wide lenses are doing. So this is obviously a Super 35 sensor with a 12 mil open gate. So you get a little bit more wider view. Um, obviously it's not full frame, but I really like this look. But this particular lens has a party trick. This is the most relaxed review I've done in a while and I love it. I like the design. It's pretty short and stout. The focus throw is about 270 degrees. Uh, it has an 82 mil front filter thread. And uh, it's a, again, a T2.9 wide open. It's an all metal build. Even the front cap is metal. I don't mind the lack of edge to edge sharpness. I don't really care for that that much. These more budget friendly cinema lenses aren't going to be your Zeiss CP3s or RE6 signature primes. You're going to you're going to, you know, experience a little bit more of a quality loss here and there, but it's subjective. Again, if you know me, you follow this channel, I don't mind some character in the lens. I'm not looking for ultra sharp edge to edge. If I need to do that, I'll just go, you know, rent out a lens that has the top quality like a Sigma or Zeiss or you know those things there's also a hint of distortion which I don't mind either this is not like a 0d distortion like the Laowa 12 mil lens it's not that lens again this has some character in it and I think that was on purpose all of the vision lenses from seven arsons have that very textured background kind of swirly has a little bit of a swirl happening so I like it this is a good look so real quick, I just want to shout out Comica. Um, they make this mic called the Vimo C, I believe. Similar to the like DJI. Um, once you open it, it syncs up with the mics. This is the second one. Let me put that back before it tries to record with it. So I just want to give them a shout out. They're not sponsoring this video. I just want to say thank you again for actually just sending this over and let me test it out. I needed one some, something like this for a while now, so cool. The one thing I noticed right out the gate when you're wide open on the uh, Seven Artisans lens is that you see this very halo effect for the flaring. Um, I think it's quite cool, to be honest. Um, gives it a very unique look. You can use that that distinct shape for um, texture or for you know a particular look you're going for and feeling and tone and mood. So I like that. And then if you go towards the edges, you have a little bit more of this starbursty feel, kind of streaky, rainbowy. Um, I really like it. And compared to the other two lenses, um, very different types of characteristics. With the DZO, you have this, you have this very red, fiery edge of the flare. I think it's quite unique as well. And then SLR Magic, you have some blues, you have some purples and some streaks. So very different in terms of characteristics across the lenses here. And I think that's something to consider when deciding which route you want to go. Now, back to that party trick I was talking about. The thing that I look out for for wide lenses is the minimum focus distance. And this guy has a minimum focus distance of 0.14 centimeters. That is super close. And the reason why this is very versatile is because, you know, if you have a wide lens, you know, you can get pretty boring with these wide sweeping landscapes but it's very interesting when you put it up close to something like faces or you know random detail stuff like that that gives us uh, this lens more flexibility than other lenses in comparison i have the slr magic 12 mil micro prime and that minimum focus distance is only six inches i believe yeah six inches Again, I've referenced Terrence Malick on this channel before, but he's one of my 
favorite visionary visionary what the heck the way he wants to convey his story with using wide lenses that show these very intimate close proximity um portraits of people with this very vast and wide and deep focus to to give context to what it is i love that look it tells a lot about his philosophy with image making um those dps who buy into that vision to get that sort of idea across when using these wider lenses and so this lens has that versatility in my opinion just because of that very short focus distance focusing distance it gives you so much flexibility to work with i did use this lens on a recent production for a company called clever supply co and this was the lens that i used for the pov shots of the bag that we used i did a whole breakdown of that rig on my channel so make sure to watch that video but essentially this was the lens that i used um, to get those very interesting point of view shots and it worked well i mean it's so it's pretty much a workhorse the build quality is great image is great too it matches really well with the dzo lenses those were the primary lenses we used this was on like the rig build so i was about to burp my bad the question is am i actually going to get the rest of the set i don't know but i i liked having this lens as a specialty lens for the most part but um we'll see how time goes on so yeah if you like this kind of review let me know um i personally enjoy them they're a little bit more relaxed i'm trying to focus more on the emotional side of things less technical specs i'll still give it to you obviously but something like this i think it yields you know more benefit for you to make a decision if you want to check out this lens also if you are new make sure to subscribe hit the like button and uh help this channel grow all right bye Ready? Rodeo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>